Hi, Mona. Hi. Uh, thank you for meeting us and uh, having the time to uh, talk about the Power Rangers uh, brand uh, for Hasbro. Uh, Power Rangers is a young brand for Hasbro. Uh, you, you bought it last year, I think. Um, and uh, you choose uh, at first to uh, market both kids' lines and uh, collector lines. Um, is it something uh, like a new policy for Hasbro? Something uh, that is uh, uh, expected from a, a brand? Uh, I, I think Peppa Pig is not concerned, but when, <laughs> when you have a, when you uh, get a new property, you're, you're trying to market for those kind of uh, of um, consumers. Yeah, I think uh, from a Hasbro perspective, you know, we definitely know that there's a huge opportunity with fans, and so um, you know, we want to excite the young generation and go after the kids, um, but we know that. That, you know, people who grew up with the brand yeah. um, also have uh, this fandom that they've developed over the years. So I think with Power Rangers, uh, we know that some people have grown up with it back in the 90s when it was original TV show. Yes. Um, so you know, we have older collector fans that are um, still very excited about Power Rangers. Right. Um, is the lightning, lightning uh, collection going to uh, offer older uh, Super Sentai costumes? You know. Uh, the one seen in a Super Mega Force season uh, because that would give uh, uh, collectors the opportunity to buy toys uh, from a series that are less known in Europe and uh, America. Yeah. Something you're, you're planning to do? Yeah, so we have so much history yes. and so much content with this brand. We're just scratching the surface, so yeah. there's so much we can do. Um, we're very excited and just given the opportunity to go after every single season, um, you know, there's a, a big undertaking for us. Yes. Um, and um, since there are so many costumes, so many characters, what do you choose? Uh, which one you're going to make? So you know, it. We we look at you know we definitely listen to the fans and you know see what they're talking about the most. Um, that's something that we take very, you know, seriously in when we research which characters to develop. Okay, you're, you're going uh, through um, marketing research uh, studies and uh, you're looking at uh, websites, websites uh, social networks. Everything, social media, comments, um, you know, we have our own um, social media channels. So yeah. We go through all of that to see, you know, who's... Um, talking about which characters the most um, and we also you know we want to um, keep the excitement going so we'll maybe hold back some characters um, but you know we have a lot to work with um, but we definitely um, hear the fans and so we kind of start with that. And are there going to be your other uh, bad guys like Goldar mm -hmm. which is not yet released in France but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's something uh, that fans are, are going to expect I yeah. think. Uh, yeah knowing that Power Rangers is all about the crazy, wacky monsters, yeah. um, and I think that there's so much um, fun and um, color that we can bring to it. Goldar is definitely one that we're really excited about. We have Lord Zed, um, who is also a kind yes. iconic uh, villain who's out now, yes. um, and yeah, there's just, we, you can expect to see more, um, of st more stuff like that. And if we talk about specific waves, um, each wave it consists of different characters from different timelines, different uh, uh, seasons. Uh, is it something you kind of a uh, kind of a patchwork of uh, characters? Is it something that's going to uh, to last, or is it? Uh, are you going to make a, a current uh, a wave with uh, uh, the s uh, characters from the same uh, season? Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, we definitely want to keep fans guessing. So yeah. <laughs> you know, we will do um, we'll, we'll do characters from all all, all different types of seasons. Yeah. Um, this uh, the, our second wave has two of the Beast Morphers characters. Yes. So I think you can expect to see um, you know characters from the same season or uh, one from every uh, different season. Okay. So <laughs> we like to keep you on your toes. It's <laughs> the lottery. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, will you offer uh, a dated uh, Megazord uh, for, uh, for the different uh, Power Rangers uh, seasons or uh, is this something you want to do? Um, potentially, but I uh, can't comment on that right now. Okay. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, Asbro uh, uh, has a uh, crowdfunding service with uh, Aslab. Uh, 
which was successful for Star Wars and Transformers, not so much for Cookie Monster, but uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's something uh, that could maybe used to, uh, to get a, a lightning collection uh, Megazord. Yeah. Is it something you think about when you... Uh, <laughs> it's uh, definitely a thought. Uh, yeah. Again, we can't confirm yeah. anything, I, I but understand. You know, that it's always something yeah. It's not ruled out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's something. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and do you think, for your team at Hasbro, uh, do you have the liberty to uh, choose uh, more exotic characters? You know, uh, I don't mean obscure, but something like uh, secondary characters, like uh, Burk and Skull, or Alpha <laughs> 5 uh, from the first season? Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, we have a lot of characters to choose from, and, you know, we want to, um, you know, keep the fans excited and deliver new content, so we're always looking for new ways to, to bring that, so I think you'll you'll be excited to see what comes out um, from us over the next few years. <laughs> of course, we will be. And, uh, you know, uh, Ben died back then, they made uh, toys that weren't in the show. Invented uh, bikes, uh, it, it, it yes. could come combine with the Megazords. Uh, is it something that uh, Hasbro is going to do, or would you uh, keep your uh, your choice on a, on a show? Yeah, no, definitely. We now that Hasbro has taken on not only the the toy line but yeah. also the the TV show and production. Um, Hasbro produces the entire season of Beast Morphers. So, yeah. um, so we have a really close relationship where you know toy and TV are all in the same are all under the same roof. So yeah. we can definitely have some products that we put into um, into the show. Uh, for example, in, in um, Beast Morphers, we have uh, the Cheetah Claw that we partnered with the studio on to develop. Um, we have a Cheetah Black. Uh, so you know more more stuff like that to come. Okay. Uh, so and it's interesting to have both the, the toy license and the whole property on the yeah. same on the same house. Uh, uh, do you interact on a on a I mean a daily basis? Uh, something you have, you have a working uh, meeting working yeah. thing with them? Uh, absolutely. I think because we are. For the first time, Power Rangers is under one house. Yeah. It gives us a lot more opportunity to be more integrated, and we are constantly talking to the studio. Um, they're talking to us on seeing, you know, what products we can make. So definitely a really good partnership on both sides. It's a, uh, it's not a toy question, but a Power Rangers question. Um, is the TV show going to, uh, you know, for, for you, Hasbro was willing to build uh, what we call uh, uh, a Hasbro multiverse with uh, Micronauts, uh, G.I. Joe, Transformers, uh, uh, all its brands into uh, uh, common media, comic books, uh, and stuff, uh, movies probably. Uh, is it Power Rangers, is it Argo, the Power Rangers going to be part of the multiverse or is it a different property, it's something you can make a... You know, we want the Hasbro properties to kind of build and, and foster on their own. Yeah. Um, we've, we are treating Power Rangers as our own brand, but you know, there's a lot of, we're again all, all one family, so you know, there's a lot of opportunity to um, have you know, more um, inter interaction, but you know, for now we're keeping Power Rangers. Um, we've only had the brand for a couple of years. Uh, one year and a half. A year and a half now, so um, we're still building our reputation with Power Rangers. So. Speaking of which, uh, the, the, the toys are fantastic and you're doing a very good job, uh, especially with the Lightning Collection, which is uh, very, very good and uh, on par yeah. with uh, what you do with uh, Star Wars or uh, Marvel Legends and Soul Black series. And uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, some of the uh, two packs. They are difficult to get uh, in, uh, in, uh, in retail in Europe. Is it something you want to expand to? Uh, uh, is it something you can talk about? It's, it's, it's not your job, you know. Don't worry, you tell me it's not your job. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, absolutely. Our goal is to make sure that Power Rangers has a presence globally. Um, we want to support, you know, uh, we know France is such a key market for us, so, you know, we are prioritizing um, hmm. uh, the markets here. Uh, you know, I think it, it's definitely something that fans can tell their local retailers that they yeah. want Power Rangers products and yes. we can get it in the store. 
Let's hope they yeah. do. Yeah, if the retailer is here, then <laughs> they will come. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to retain uh, nowadays. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's the same yeah, yeah. as it's in not, the US. It's not for lack of us wanting to push a product. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a slight question about, you know, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Oh, Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Uh, they're very big. Yeah. Everybody is making uh, Ninja Turtles toys. Yeah. Uh, Nika, uh, DC Collectibles, Super 7. Uh, and uh, there was uh, some episodes in uh, Power Rangers with the Ninja Dolls in the 90s. And is it something you, as bro, could imagine doing, uh, using uh, an extra uh, you know, different property, which was mixed with one of your properties at one time to, to make two of your toys for, for the Ninja Dolls? Yeah, so uh, we're not, it's not out of the question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, again, I think. Since we are still new to the brand, uh, we want to build kind of Power Rangers on its own first, and then um, you know open it up to other other properties. However, there is a comic book from Boom, uh, the Boom comic book series, where we did a collaboration with Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles. Yeah. So, so you never know. Yeah. Exactly. It may happen. <laughs> exactly. <Okay. laughs> Uh, I'm good. Uh, I'm done. Uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's, not, it's a bit too short, but uh, yeah, no. I'm not a specialist of uh, Power Rangers, so I can't talk for hours about the brand. Yeah. But uh, I, do, I did some research. Yeah. I asked my, uh, co uh, my uh, colleagues to for our questions, yeah. and uh, we came up with that. That's so, no, that's uh, great. If yeah. it's okay for you? Yeah, I'm good if you are. Um, ah, yeah. you know, thank you for uh, meeting, meeting with us and it's you know, having it's a pleasure. Um, we, we're really excited about Lightning Collection. We feel like it is on par with our Black Series and Legends. Yeah. Um, we feel like we can bring this level of detail and um, articulation that you know hasn't been done before. And using the photo real technology. Photo, photo real technology. So I encourage you to um, come to the panel later. Uh, we yes, will I, I, we, we will be there. Special reveals. Yeah, you have a reveals. Yep, um, so more to come. <laughs> yeah, and, and are you going to um, MCM London yes, and, uh, we'll be, and we'll Luca? Be there. Um, we'll be at MCM and Salon de Mangara in mm. Barcelona. Barcelona, okay. Because last year they were at, at, uh, yeah, yeah. at Luca as well. <laughs> okay. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. Have a nice day.